hey guys welcome back in this lesson I'm gonna show you how to make an addition onto the model we've been working with our residential house now if you don't have a residential house plan available I'd strongly recommend taking the Revit Essentials course because that'll walk you through creating a house and give you the foundation for this lesson so the first thing I will do is go to my phasing and make sure that the phase filter is set to show all and that my phase is existing and I will also go to the Manage tab and open up the Phases window and make sure that I have both existing and house edition phases, although yours might have a different name like New Construction. So I'll look over my phase filters and overrides. And I'm not going to make any changes there. All right, so everything's ready. So what I'm going to do for this example is I am going to expand the garage, make it into a two-bay garage. So essentially what I'm going to be doing is adding a wing on right over here. So what I'll do is go to my Modify tab and I'll select Split with Gaps. Alright, and now that I've got this wall split out, what I'm actually going to do is demo it out in my House Edition phase. I'll do the same with the windows, but they've already changed over since they were hosted to this wall. Then what I'm going to do is build a new one in the House Edition. So to get my House Edition adjustments, what I'm going to do is duplicate this with detailing, and I'm going to rename this plan. Instead of existing copy one, I'll call it new addition. So now I'm officially ready to change my phase on the view template. First, make sure you've clicked off of everything, and then change the phase to house edition. And you can see it's already demoed out. And I'll set the phase filter to show complete. All right, so we've got our wall demoed. Um, I'll just trim back this bit right here. All right, and now in the house edition, what I'm going to do is actually create a new part of my wall. So I'll draw this out. All right, I'll adjust it to make it fit. Just be sure when you create this new wall that you've created it under the house edition phase. All right, and I'll create another one. Uh, one thing you may want to do is set your detail level to fine just so you know which way your wall is supposed to be facing. All right, so just give me a sec while I get this all finished up, close this off, and I'll move this tree out of the way. All right, so let me go over and just make sure all the little bits and pieces are right. And now I'll build a new garage door into the extension that we just built. And instead of this floor plate, which was built on the existing phase, I'll call this out to be demoed on my house edition so it disappears. So you really have two options. You can either demo it out like we've done, or you can just insert a new floor. It's up to you. So you can either build a whole new slab or just build onto the existing one. But for me, I'll just set the floor to be demoed under the house edition, and then I'll build out a new one. So I'll go ahead and draw out my new floor on the existing layer. It's lightweight concrete on metal deck, that's fine. All right, so there we are. I'll go into my 3D view to see how it looks. So the 3D view is still on the old phase, so this is how the house looked before. And let me change some of the settings so it's easier to move around. I'll make it hidden line and turn off the sun path. And I'll also turn off the shadows. And so now, if I go under Properties and change my Phase Filter to House Edition, you can see the extension. Let me change the filter to Show Complete. So excellent, I've got my second bay. The only issue here is the roof. Well, if we're going to add on an extension, we also have to make sure that we have a roof for that extension. So I'm going to demo out the existing roof under the House Edition. So that disappeared. And now I'm going to go back into my Floor Plan view so it's easier for me to draw it. And I will set the overhang to two feet. Then I will follow these lines. And I will create my new roof system. Now, obviously, yours might look different from mine. Uh, you don't have to create the exact same house, nor do you have to make the same house addition. But if you do branch out on your own, just make sure that you're adjusting the phases according to what we've gone over in these lessons. That really is the core lesson that I want to cover in this particular video, is making sure you understand how phasing works, and really learning to work with your 3D model now, 
as more of a 4D file. So let's see how that looks in 3D view. Oh, it looks like we built it on the wrong floor. So we'll just change that to the second floor. We'll lower the roof height. All right, now you might not actually want the roof exactly like that, because water could get back in there. So what you can do is go in and edit your footprint and change which lines have slopes and which lines do not have slopes. So just be aware that when you're doing all this, it may initially look a little weird. You might have to do some adjustments to get the style or quality that you want, but it's ultimately all part of the design process. So I'm just gonna change it so that my slope winds up matching to over there. So I'll adjust the south facing slope and make it two and 12. Hmm. Sometimes I won't be able to make the footprint. So some of these things can be a little bit fiddly, but the power is there to adjust your settings and smooth that ridge. And last, I'll put the roof on the house edition. So now what I will do is go into 3D and I will rename it to 3D New Edition. Oop, does not like that character. Let me go ahead and fix that. Hmm, looks like it's the curly braces causing problems. So I'll just get rid of those. All right, and you can also duplicate this view if you'd like. And I'll go in and rename this new view 3D Existing Condition. And so if you go back to the properties window, you can change the phase to existing so that you have two separate 3D views, one what you started with and another reflecting your design changes. All right, that's it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next video where we'll go over callouts and details.